what about the children, Scotty? <laughs> what about the children? You know what I'm Got saying? Think about them. Absolutely. My, my, they're sleeping, man. <laughs> Watching Saturday morning cartoons. No, they're not. Just kidding. Oh, good day. Good Saturday morning to y'all today on Dude Gross Show. We're kind of right. a the banner. The show got Banner, Grambo, Scotty. We're all parents. Let's talk about parenting with weed. Is that what I should call it? Parenting with weed? Yeah, that is what you should call it. <clears throat> and the just say no thing. Can't we just use those three words, man? Listen, honey, just say no. You get me another beer. <laughs> The just say no, we all know, we've covered it on the show many times, obviously doesn't work. <laughs> when they're just marketing campaigns of the 80s, the commercials that are hilarious, just go YouTube some of those if you want to have a good laugh. But it's a new era, man. It's 2024. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we haven't talked about this in a minute. So let's talk about it. How do you handle, you know, okay, one, there's parenting with weed where that's helpful. Um, yeah. and parenting, I guess, about weed. You know, what are you telling your kids these days? Scotty, your daughter's 19, I think. My kids yeah. 19, a little bit different. They're, all, they're grown to a degree. With her med card, by the way, 19 and 18, you can get your med card, man. So obviously the government thinks it's okay for, I don't know, 18, you can go to war. All right. You should be able to buy a, a joint or you should be able to buy, I don't know, a booze. We'll get into it, man. I'm not really sure. But uh, hey, I'll, me and Banner are the same age, so I was a little bit before like the D.A.R.E. program. I think we had just say no, but that whole D.A.R.E. program seemed to come a little bit later. Grambo, you're a bit younger, and dude, you're a little bit younger than me. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did y'all have as far as in school? I was D.A.R.E. <laughs> you were D.A.R.E.? I, I had full, full D.A.R.E. the whole thing. I even have a funny story about D.A.R.E. after uh, we talk about it for a sec. Uh, the dude, the dude presenting was actually a dealer. Yeah, right. <laughs> I had the best stuff. Spoiler what about you, Banner? Spoiler alert. What about you, dude? Uh, they brought a Corvette to our elementary school. They're like, we confiscated this Corvette from a drug dealer. <laughs> like, oh, that's it. Like, like, cop, like, we drove it really fast to get here. That's some Miami Vice stuff. That's hilarious. God, man. They just had Luke Skywalker from Two Live Crew show up in a, in a band filled with booty chicks. Uh, Uncle Uncle Luke Skywalker? Yeah. <laughs> the Two Live Crew. Uh, I think he's mayor. There. Really? No, I'm kidding. But it wouldn't be weird, would it? I think he is a preacher, though. I think he's a, or the Reverend Luke. Uh, Uncle Luke. Man. Really? Like he was preaching that day? I don't know. He wasn't a bad he realized dude. the errors of his ways. I believe so. I mean, it's just messy. Come on. How crazy were you? How nasty did you want to be when you were young? Bro, when that came out, it was amazing. It was great. Come on, everybody liked that. It was great. South Florida, man, who's right there. <laughs> All right. This is another two line cruise show. Okay. <laughs> Although they are. Are they? <laughs> yeah. We can admit that we love them, right? This is the legal actually age. Is, is it 21 in Colorado? Is that legal <laughs> consumption age? If you don't have a med card, if you, you can get a med card at 18. And if not, it's the same as booze. Is cigarettes 21? Yeah. I believe it, it. I think it might it be. It recently went from eighteen to twenty-one. Yes, uh, we're also out of that element. To, yeah, but I was outside of a, a venue doing comedy, and a guy was bitching about how like he was twenty and he couldn't buy cigarettes anymore. Oh. Yeah, after oh. buying them legally for two years was kind of a bizarre situation. He's like, I've been legally the, smoking for two years. Now it's illegal all of a sudden. All right. <laughs> the idea that you can go to war and not buy cigarettes is pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Not to be like pro whatever. Yeah, but that still, is, you're that right, seems kind of weird. Not to be pro freedom or anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Hey, man, I will, I will notice that the just say no generation had a real problem with pills. Like that showed up. I don't think they told him to not say no to when a doctor gives it to you. They did not. So that's a good point. You know, they specifically didn't. Well, because that was okay medicine. It was getting it from your doctor. Yes. And they so, and, and from a reputable pharmaceutical company that has tested everything and it's the right dosage and quality control and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay then. I'm telling you, man, just say no. It's just don't think. Hey, just don't think about what you're doing. Don't think about how it feels. Uh, just unless your doctor gives it to you, no good. It's just wrong. And it is true, man. If you were to thought, man, the first time I smoked weed, I was like, dude, that's just weed. All right. They've been lying to me all the time. I feel great. Yeah. Like you didn't flip out and like jump out a window or anything. I was instantly yeah. addicted, though. Where I was like, I'm smoking this all the time. <laughs> you know, I put in a, a position back then, our parents, as far as the, the it wasn't so much, hey, 
man, weed's like really bad for you. It sucks. It's what's going to happen if you get caught with it? How's that going to oh, happen in your school, your ability so right. to get maybe into a university, your ability to get a job? Like there are so many intense, uh, you know, ways to get in trouble with just a minor amount of gram. You know, so I that know. was part of um, the reason a lot of parenting was like, just stay away from it because this is how they're treating it. Yeah. You're talking to a guy that ate 18 years and three months went to jail for half an eighth of weed. Half an eighth of weed has got to be close to a gram, right? And that's not two grams. Was it? Was it just me or was it cool that back in the day to like have your first curves in the river with your dad when you were like 13 or something? See, my dad didn't drink, but yeah, dude, you on the Boy Scout trips and stuff. But yeah, socially acceptable. Floating. They were exactly they were supposed to ease you into alcohol so you could understand it and hopefully not become just yeah. a total drunk, man. Yeah. That is that Actually, happening with weed now? Quit Boy Scouts because I started bringing beer on outings. I'm like, this is just, I'm, this is enough, right? <laughs> this is just, I'm a good man. I'm good. Dude, that is so awesome. <laughs> that is so dude, That's why man. they call him the dude. That's why they call you the dude. Did, you, ever, did you get busted? No, I never got busted, but I knew it wasn't, um, it just, you know, wasn't the place for it. Wasn't right. It's like, okay, it wasn't necessarily We're, too old. It was just all came together for growing out of Scouts. W- was it just you? Oh, no, people were drinking, like you in a car, sure. like you, like you were in the party tent, like you, yeah. a couple other dudes. I'm going to go in the woods now, man, and pee, <laughs> bro. I got a towel pad. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think one of the ways that you could handle there are still some prohibition errors now, depending on um, like how old your child is, as far as the developing brain. But if you have a teenager, let's say that's exposed to cannabis with their friends, you already know what's going sure. on, things will happen, and just give the best practices, especially if you're in a state where they can get in trouble. You know, a good example would be, hey, you know, I understand your cannabis is, is actually going to have less consequences if we want to talk about the pros and cons with alcohol, but don't leave the house with it. Don't ever leave the house with it, caught with it in your glove box, in your pocket out here and there. This can be the consequences, and that's different weed? in a lot of states. These days, weed, it can be for sure. <laughs> but don't leave the house with weed? That's the advice you're giving your kid? <laughs> If you are in, uh, which there are, we're outweighing it with good states now uh, where you can still get, you know, if you get caught with an eighth or two grams that you're going to get a huge fine, go to jail, have a misdemeanor or something on your record. Um, I would encourage that. I know it's probably hard to do. I I, I, I appreciate your reaction. Like, well, isn't, that, isn't that the magic of carts? I mean, that's true. It's true. I gave my kid different advice. I said, if you get pulled over, put it in your mouth. That- <laughs> my wife says if you get arrested i'm not bailing you out yeah I'm spending the night in jail <laughs> Whoa. hey by the way uh grandpa what's your brother's name that was just dumb enough to take him <coughs> to weed that he uh, got and just leave it on his dashboard tosh. driving home yeah yeah, yeah. scott tosh. scott gave my brother uh, an ounce i set it on my dashboard not thinking about it and just drove that 90 minutes home with check it. your privilege man denver no, no, it's just weed. Denver's a, Denver's a lawless. There's no police anymore. Don't worry. About it. I know it did change recently, didn't it? But uh, to to put a period on the the dare thing, I had a really hilarious one of the most famous uh, American store, like literally in the whole uh, history of the program. My dare officer is one of the most famous guys. He uh he was very famous in the dare organization. Raised through it, he was traveling outside of Iowa to do it, and then got busted in Urbandale, Iowa, for being so high. He crashed his windowless van with uh with three pounds of amphetamines and a running surf toy in his person. Uh, all right, uh, hey, do you have a van with? No windows? Mm-hmm. Did it say free candy on the side? <laughs> <laughs> it did. And so literally as a child, it's like our dare officer got put in prison for drug trafficking. And so I was like, well, well, the what lock- a great cover, though. Oh, it was it was until he got so I crashed into a flag. No one would suspect you yeah. uh, in America. Cops go to jail for the most messed up thing. You know, they're just That's people, true. man. Yeah. Dude, I know I'm getting old because YouTube recommends police chase videos to me now. <laughs> and they're fairly addictive. Uh, but, I, love, uh, I love me some police. Chase the motorcycle videos. ones are the best. Arkansas yeah. State Police are changing them. No. And I started I started no. rooting for the cops, man. I'm like, dude, come on. Law and order here, man. Get that guy off the street. Shoot that guy, will you? Do you get the do you get the live feeds from L.A. with the car chases? No, but some of that stuff is scary. I'm glad I don't watch it. Yeah. Me and Banner I hang out. Over it. 
it's I give Grandpa the thumbs down saying the motorcycle ones are the because those are the ones where like somebody's going down. Yeah, that's a I get those fifty fifty chance. Yeah, 50, 50 I like when they get alive. I just think it's crazy that it's like a cultural thing in LA to like just watch the live. Oh, yeah. carjacking car chase. Like it happens almost daily. Yep. Like literally where it's a live feed and like you just watch the whole thing. It's just nuts. Hashtag shoot them in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> just like the OJ Simpson style ones. Nice and easy. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> but I tell you, Banner, I'm going to uh, uh, give you one. I think it's called 10 foot six. Okay. I just put a camera on this uh bridge oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. past it is 10 Can foot six. yes and it just rips semi trucks off it just does the craziest things it like opens the tops like a can it's very entertaining <laughs> <laughs> nobody got hurt just a little shooka like watching their wrecks and so yeah hey can i show you something which is uh talk about the government isn't going to teach your kids about drugs and like just say no is kind of a you know, a lousy one, but so they have a new revamped. I'm sure this cost them many millions of dollars. The uh, California let's let's talk cannabis website yeah. and Grambo. I don't see anything that could be useful here, man. Yeah, I haven't really gone through it with a fine tooth comb, but you know, just like there's no way you're going to attract a kid to come and check this kind of stuff out. It needs to be branded so much differently. Yeah, anyway, I just thought that's where your your money goes. A healthy start. Today's show is brought to you by Real Growers Grow Nuts. Stop stressing about mixing and measuring nutrients and stop worrying about nutrient burn or nutrient deficiencies. Try feeding your plants with Grow Nuts instead. And don't take my word for it. John Sin says, absolutely amazing product, simple to use. Just mix in pot and water. John says, I've tried several other newts, but these take the cake for sure. Recommended a thousand times over, great for novice growers. Thank you, John. So if you're looking for the easiest way to feed your plants, check out Grow Dots. You mix them in once, right at the beginning of your grow cycle, and they keep your plants fed all the way to harvest. See what other growers are saying about them over at growdots.com. Wait, well, Play in the background. Please tell me they have advertising oh going on. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, this video is awesome. Is that kid f- smoking a bomb? How high were the people that made this commercial? Hey. What? Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right, I'm lying. This is pretty good. <laughs> this is <awesome. laughs> it's mesmerizing, oh, man. man. Oh god. Wow, man. I'm going to uh, wait. Hold on. Tell tell the listeners. Right off the bat, guys, give us a subscribe, a comment, a like if you're yes. enjoying this video, man. Help build the channel, spread the word. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, do we want to talk about this? I see. When did you first talk to your kids about cannabis, alcohol, tobacco? Those are three different grouped together things, three different things. But I guess I don't know if those can be grouped together. Let me ask you. We'll start off with rate them one, two, and three. Uh, if you had your, had to hear that your kid was using something. You know, I hate uh, nicotine. Nicotine is so addictive, man. Hey, I'll go first since I asked my own question. Uh, cannabis sure. would be the most most favorable thing. Uh, alcohol is a necessary evil. You got to just teach them how to use it. And nicotine is a trap. I never smoked a cigarette, man. So I don't care about them. Yeah. I mean, as far as if we're going to talk about. Go ahead, Banner. Oh no! I'm, I'm Banner was high and staring. I was spacing out. Bro. <laughs> so I thought I heard uh, the, the, the you know obviously alcohol and nicotine would be the two that, as far as addictiveness goes, would be higher. I don't find cannabis to be very addictive. Like when I go on vacation mm-hmm. without it, it doesn't <laughs> really. It's not it addictive, man. Oh my you, god! I have a weed dealer in Costa Rica, <laughs> and she meets me at the airport. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that you're addicted to it. Uh, it's an ugly word, but god damn, I sure like. Weed. Yeah, maybe maybe the word addiction isn't yeah. maybe the right word, but it's a I don't alluring. We'll say yeah. I it's agree, for agree. I'll, I'll, have it for me. Can we alluring? Go alluring is definitely <laughs> a, a good. It's not tobacco. I remember from what I'm not understanding. I guess what I'm saying is you you're not going to get sick if you don't have. It. Correct. That's what I'm. What about so what about well. stromiting banner? What about, you didn't take statin. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, I don't have much of an appetite if I don't smoke for a couple of days. It certainly changes my appetite and it changes my sleeping. Yeah, yeah, but you're again, you're not going to get sick. No, no, yeah, I'm get sick. Yeah, 
just gonna what uh you asked at what age <laughs> man i'm saying the the, sh- the shiz gets real when kids start to go into high school for me and tobacco um i think it's died down but man there was like a vaping craze a few years oh, back so and it was like and it was like you know as kids at the elementary school and shit is like doing vapes so that There's talk watermelon happened. Sure. flavored they have watermelon yeah. flavored vapes yeah. you know of course <laughs> or as dude calls them the pea sticks uh, on their own my kid just thinks they're it's stupid it is but somebody came to me and said to me hey look dude this I'm tobacco I, actually i asked i um somebody there was it was super dry and there was no it was so dry that the cops put up a billboard that said if you think it's dry this summer just wait till next uh it's like holy cow man but uh, i say that's uh what does it do for you too you've been there like what is exactly this doing? right that's exactly you know, this girl like, are you what are you achieving from it i asked the same thing for my son when he asked me about when to smoke what does smoking do you think it affects me doing this or that or is it good for when i do my homework or is it bad for when i'm biking or training i'm like you're the only one that can find these things out people use this as a tool for many different ways what Dude, your kid does the most insane. I believe I saw a double backflip. Am I wrong with that? Like, does yeah, he double. do that while baked? <sighs> Holy. Um, I, don't, like, I don't know. I, I think he's been using more cannabis as a, a end of the done with stuff. The day is done. You know, yeah. You know, yeah, I would. Yeah, so. totally. I would think so. Some totally. Flicks, you know, I would admittedly utilize for me. <laughs> Like, I don't like to have any beers until it's like, okay, I have A, B, C, D done. I've probably worked out. And it is an effective way to uh, to kind of, not completely, but shut my brain off and put it in a different mode, which I actually like. Um, but beer, cannabis can do the exact same thing. And yeah, there's a, a line there. How many? Is it one dude? Is it six? Is it eight? Like, there's, yeah, you got to judge things. Go ahead. Beer is a diagonal line, right? That the, you drink one beer, your blood alcohol goes here. You drink two beers, your blood alcohol goes there. And, you know, after a certain number of beers, that's why the DUI tests are all about. You can't complete, you know, a message with your yeah. motor function. Is cannabis like that? Yeah. There's no direct correlation to it. I can smoke There's tolerances. These. Yes. Tolerances with all of us, of course, whether it is alcohol or, or weed, but it definitely can have, I don't know about the same, you know, obviously effect, measurable effect with alcohol that you're speaking of, but man, if I get dabbed out right now or something, like I would not want to drive for sure. Um, and not that I, you know, not to say I couldn't, I'd probably just be too paranoid. I'd probably go in five. If I was on and private like, property, I could totally do it. Dude, I would freaking do <laughs> wheelies on a ninja right now. Man. Allegedly. <laughs> so if, I, if, if I got dabbed, said dabbed out, but sometimes as we've said with cannabis versus alcohol, I think Scott, you brought this up a bit before. If something goes down, you're sitting there and you're all high and you're like, like an emergency or something happens, like you snap out of it. Like, yeah, it's true. Shit, like, what's up? It's true. It said like it, drunk. Like, you can't snap out of drunk. No. Nope. You can't throw somebody in a cold shower, like they said, and then have them just ready for a situation. Agreed. Agreed. It's about age. I don't know. Banner, you got some, you got some kiddos. Did you get anybody have like, yeah, what, at what age did you say or have you? Hey, let's talk about weed. And it's, we live in, you guys live and I live where it's been normalized when we were raising yeah. kids in Colorado. So uh, it's a little bit different. Some of the other things, but uh, I don't know, like 12, 13. And they were just, were, they just were not interested at, at all. Yeah. They just didn't care. It wasn't on their radar. It was no big deal. It was nothing. Well, when it's something that I am, I envision you going up to your front porch and bringing your little dab X and having your laptop, maybe writing the new website for us. Uh, and, but do it. So it's not like this. Um, what do you call it? Like some, you know, uh, crazy, crazy thing that you're doing. Best example I can give you is, uh, me and a good buddy of mine, um, took the oldest one with us fishing. Right. And I told him ahead of time, I'm like, you know, this is going to be kind of like old man fishing. You're like, you know, we're going to smoke some weed and <laughs> and relax. And he that's was like, awesome. he was that's like, awesome. oh, that's cool. And he didn't care. And like, we didn't like really like smoke in front of him right, or, right. or anything like that. Cause you know, you're fishing, you're spread out a little bit, but it was like, you, you would <clears throat> never know that it even happened. You that's how I mean? it's supposed to be. It's like drinking a beer. Yeah. And so therefore like my kid's perception of it is it's really nothing to be, it's not a big deal. Like it's just, it's no different from relaxing with a beer. Agreed. And you know? that's where I think the 
big change has been. Yeah. And not I, anyway drug. Well, and I was going to say is they haven't grown up in an environment, which is uh, especially around here, which is really like looking down on cannabis in general. Yes. It's it's very, very well accepted socially yeah. here. It's not accepted socially necessarily for the kids like they're not to say that no one's doing it, but it is not like that. It for what my experience has been is um, because it's not like thrown at them all the time that they shouldn't do it is that. They don't, it's just, it's something that like, they're going to think about when they're older. Yeah. Like they don't, they don't really care. Forbidden fruit that your parents It's not even like know. that. They don't really have like this <clears throat> urge or like need or like they can't wait. Yeah. They just don't care. Like it doesn't really fit into their lifestyle and put it that way. And by the way, for me, yes. the real gate. Yes, sir. I was good. Finish your thought there. The real gateway drug is alcohol. You know, when when you yeah. get toasted, you know, drunk, that's kind of similar to when somebody gives you some pills. Hey, you don't have to drink so much if you take this pill. You know, you get yeah. fucked up, really wasting all shoot. Oh, and, and, get, and to be it, completely yeah, honest, you know, if I had my son when I was 25, I believe, and he, he definitely saw times when I was partying and drunk and shiz, and he doesn't have much at all an interest in alcohol. Plus, it only took his one experience of coming home one time where, we knew he was over, you know, he needed to throw it up, uh, old right glorians on the wall, like <laughs> stuck with him, uh, stuck with him well, um, as far as understanding, you know, the effect of alcohol. But let's ask Amy. We haven't asked Amy Dickinson from uh, in Denver Post, you know. Yeah. So we have <laughs> over right here, dear Amy. I'm a father of a boy and a girl, ages nine and eleven. I live in Colorado and smoke marijuana. I did not start smoking regularly until it was legal here. My kids do not know that I smoke pot, but they are not stupid. My eyes made me red. The smell may linger when I come in from the garage, but I do not smoke in the house or out in the open um, for the kids or anyone else to see. And that's exactly what I used to do and my wife would do back in the day when our kids were probably almost the same age as in Colorado. Uh, Does Amy smoke weed? Off. There's no way. When was the last time Amy has smoked weed? Man, bro, <laughs> profile her, man. Let's profile her. Profile her. College. Uh, yeah. That one time Ooh. she got really drunk in college yes. and had to hit off a joint. Yes. That, that she, she didn't yeah, inhale. No. And it was, I get you. It was tie stick. <laughs> it was tie <laughs> stick. <laughs> nice. Was I, the uh, uh, come to the cross. I've come to the crossroads, however, and I'm not sure what to do if the kids ask me about it. I feel it's important to be honest. My wife thinks I should protect them from thinking that their father is doing drugs. I tell my wife that it's like alcohol and it should only be used when you're older and the brain is fully developed. Pretty basic agreement. Like, I agree with that. Um, and it says, what, I got, what I'm doing is not illegal. I can't imagine the only person I'm dealing with such, is such an issue. With so much legalization going around the country. What do you think about this? Now, Amy's pretty cool. She just said, <laughs> be honest, man. Talk to your kids. Tell them what you're doing. In summary, yeah. Like, yeah. Don't it. lie to your kids. You Don't lie to your kids, man. You know, the worst thing, rather than you being a pothead, is a liar. Exactly. Yeah. Don't yeah. Don't lie to your kids. That is true. That is life lessons for the dude grow show. That hundred percent. You're gonna mess Whoa. them up. You don't need life. to lie to your kids. By the way, we just like for drinking. Drinking ain't for me. My body doesn't respond to. You know, I'm just uh, I get really sick really easy. It's hard for me to chug a beer. And you drink way more than I do. Yeah, well, I'll socially <laughs> chug up. Yeah, and and uh, but cannabis. The first time I smoked it, I was like, "This is great. Where can I yeah, get some?" Me too. So can so I yeah. buy some pot from the you? First time I, <laughs> yeah, right. The first time I smoked it, I told my friend's older brother, "I was like, dude, I want to do this for the rest of my life." Yes, and I kind of did. Well, yes, Gator <laughs> Growl, nineteen eighty eight, parking lot. <laughs> yeah, but the, but the point uh, is, it's gonna work on some people. My kid loves weed. So instead, of, yeah, I found all this paraphernalia when she was younger. So I sat her down. I go, I love weed too, but here's how you handle it responsibly. Hey, I just, you know, my first uh, toke of the day is when we do this show. And I realize it's 10 in the morning, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. Right. And he also brought up, you know, maybe your kid doesn't like, you know, hi, dad. And I'm like, wait, this is a good tactic. Cause like you could be like, just to let you know, children, while I'm here building Legos with you, I am really stoned, and this is awesome. And then, you know, like <laughs> yeah. another. So don't example. tell me you don't like hi, dad. <laughs> my daughter, my daughter just yesterday, she's 13. I came in from running errands. I was busy. I was trying to get this workout in before some uh, uh, meeting. I was going to try to look at it. Zoom came on. And as soon as I walk in the door, she has like this office chair unassembled. She's like, this screw won't go in. I'm like, I can help you in one hour. Because I didn't know to be, I was going to be in a better 
And plus, dude, getting high assembling stuff, no, oh, yeah. or whatever is is great. And she go, she counters, but it's just one screw. So I'm like, okay, fine. And you know what? One screw can turn into one minute, three hours on any project. You never know. Like you never know. It's I started getting frustrated with it. So that's a good uh, point, maybe yeah. to explain to your children. Sometimes is like, not that I need it, but it's fun to. It helps me be a better parent, guys. Mm-hmm. I'm happy. <laughs> So I feel bad. Grandpa's desk has been falling apart since he took it over from Guru. Yeah. And it is just one screw. <laughs> it is that is all we need. I could sense. use that screw. Dude. One so- of my favorite stories about Scott, as far as like, like you know, picturing him as like a par- parental figure, <laughs> is I told him I was going to take a break from weed. I was like, I was like, man, I need like a tolerance break. I think I'm going to stop smoking for like a month. And he was just like, no, no. Why would you do that? That's stupid. Ah. And I literally was like, Scott, are you giving me a reverse intervention right now? I just, I, I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> no, sometimes no. it's good for a tolerance break. You were the, it was the right thing. I was like, man, I'm doing this. I'm doing too much edibles. You're like, well, then slow down on the edibles. Yeah, I like, wasn't sure that it was the weed that was the issue, yeah, and that's why I just wanted to. But it was funny. Is this a reverse intervention? Yes. All right. You've <laughs> never had to. Excuse me. You need to start smoking weed. It's an intravention. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? Nice. That would be cool. We should do those where we find somebody and we bring them into our room and we tell them they need to start smoking. Bro, you need to chill out. <laughs> It'll make you a better <laughs> Mr. Person. President, you need to smoke some weed. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go stay at Scotty Reel's house for two weeks and you're going to get integrated to it. All right? You'll be a pro when you leave. Integration. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Age, what? Go ahead. That's it. Uh-uh. I have nothing. Uh-huh. I have nothing. Well, but I got it. What age did you start smoking, drinking, smoking tobacco? Did it help or hurt you? For me, yeah, man, I tried cannabis once at a party when I was really like drinking, like you said, drinking right. the gateway, ripped the ball, right. got sick, and then didn't get after it again until almost uh, 19 to 20-ish when we started road tripping, getting out of the house and that and realized, oh, this just on its own, good times, you know? Um, yeah, tobacco, dude. I never really smoked. I tried cigarettes, thinking like maybe it's cool. I don't know, like some other, you know, being a rebel, whatever. Shizzy dude, never really liked them. Then I got into chewing tobacco. I don't know if that's a Midwest thing. Yeah, yeah we put it in some dips. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's a Midwest thing. Yeah, the skull count is chewing tobacco. Skull. Yeah. And then, you know, oh, remember, dude, like all the guys would pack them. They they snap their. Oh yeah, <laughs> I can still do that. <laughs> yeah, hate and it real mainly too. And give me some grizzly with a side of Kodiak. You know what I mean? (laughs) No, it was Copenhagen in Florida. And there was people in high school that were like, yeah, I got to get part of my lip cut out. They would dip upper. Copenhagen is just uh, way too strong. And that's that shit. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Well, I did that once a day for a long time. Even when I after I moved to Canada, you know what they did here? They made a can of chew fifty dollars and I bought a few. But I'd be like, wait, so what me like a month? What is well, I only have one a day. Yeah, but go ahead. What's that? What? How much is that? 50. <laughs> yeah, it's like 12 bucks, right? It's like 12 bucks. <clears throat> 12. Hey. Yeah, yeah, you never run. <laughs> Yo, I got to tell you, man, I went to, I switched back to CO2 bottles, a conversation for another day. So I went to go refill the CO2, the 20 pound CO2 canisters. And I, uh, yeah, my buddy, uh, Warehouse Kyle says, Hey, you go over to the sporting goods store, Jack's Sporting Goods. And they, uh, you know, they refill the paintball guns and they'll refill your tank for really cheap. Really? No, I went there and <laughs> they ate us there. They, uh, they used to do that. And now it's to the point where they're like, We don't want you anymore. And what do you think they raised the price to for a tank refill? Oh, 80 bucks. What? Eighty bucks. They, they wait just based on what? Like they the they telling you to leave? Just, no, 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 but how do they know? Like, it just says right. I took a picture of it, man. It's like paintball gun this much, this the ten pound this much, twenty pound tank eight seventy nine ninety five, and I was just threw. I wanted to be indignant. I wanted to just like you know chain myself to the door as a protest or something. Why do they sell it then? And they just, I, I don't know. Just they're, telling, so they're basically telling you to leave. Huh, it's crazy. Well, what I mean is, is, it, is there another purpose that you would buy that larger tank? I don't like, think how would so. they know that you're a grower? No, they just don't want to. Yeah, I don't. With the fact that my, all the tanks you get, even from the welding supply, have grow store stickers on them now. Like mine's got uh, a way to grow gorilla sticker on yeah, it. Every it. one of them has a grow store sticker because <laughs> all the CO2 tanks come from grow stores. <sighs> all right, that's my interlude. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. 
No worries. I don't chew anymore, too, by the way, just if anybody was wondering for some Was it hard to quit? Happened. Was it hard to quit? Uh, I, I could afford that price point. I justified it by saying it lasts me almost a month. But no, it, it was just really one day. After, I have no idea. It was just, this is gross. This but money I, was I, a I, deterrent. Uh, it could be part of it, but it wasn't the, the overall. I, I admit, you do feel a bit dumb when you're like there at the register. Like, okay, $50. Like, like, okay. I learned in business school, price doesn't change demand, but it does change quantity demanded. Like I wouldn't pay one penny for a can of Copenhagen. And there's other people that would pay $50. But if you pay $50, you might buy one can a month. And this is exactly what's happening with weed. Dude, I might, you know, dude, weed is so cheap now. You smoke half a joint, you throw it out. Remember roach joints when there was $100 uh, a I quarter? Say, I feel like the quality is like, it, yes, it's cheap, but the stuff that that price point is. I, I, what I just mean is even if you're getting good stuff, uh, if it's cheap, <clears throat> yeah, I have a bucket. I'll give you, I give grandpa an ounce of it. <laughs> if, if it's cheap, you'll gotcha. smoke it more. That That's my. Gotcha. Point. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 you're right. You know, it's not as a uh, big deal. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so at fifty dollars a can of Copenhagen, you're gonna do it a lot less. Yeah, you're not gonna share it with your difference. friends. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna dip uppers and lowers. Oh Jesus! I will. Uh, <laughs> this is <laughs> summarize. Summarize the uh, the children. What about the children? With this last story, and even though don't don't cite the date. Scotty describes stories sometimes you know, 2017, but it's okay because this story has trended over the years. Every year, we keep hearing more reports of this. Weed replacing alcohol is substance of choice for some teens. And that's good news, man. I mean, I like to hear that. It's definitely going to be a way better choice um, than alcohol. And it's, uh, yeah, the, all across the board, all the studies I've seen from multiple different use of the patients, this and that are all reported this. And weed has a reverse tolerance. You know, like I talked to my kid and I'm like, hey, if you're smoking a bong hit at 10 in the morning, you're screwing up your tolerance. You'll never get stoned that way. The idea is save it up a little bit and go get really high. Feel great. You know, when you uh, uh, when you smoke or when you uh, <laughs> when you drink alcohol, it's not the case. If you could be a total seasoned pro at drinking, if you drink a 12 pack, you're going to be wasted. Uh, if you're a seasoned pro at smoking. You could allegedly smoke a duber <laughs> while doing your work. Allegedly. You know, of some of the world's best wheat. Oh, yeah. Depending on where your work is. Uh, well, it theoretically, come on. If you're a graphic artist, you can do your job super big. You build websites. I don't even have to ask you. Yeah, but if you're working in a factory or something, dude. Yeah, that's true. I don't ever want to be the like, metal stamp. Oh, what I do yeah. is uh, what I do is so hard and so like elaborate. Right. But what I do do is fairly so hard. Like, demanding and the high when I get really, 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 really high here, I dissolve into it. I, I cut I'll see like banners about to go, yeah, and then I'll hit it. Like, right. Bam. There it was. Bam. There he is. What you need some dude? Bam. You know, and it's it's so, so much funner. Yet, if I was like uh, doing something like physically demanding, if I was if I was running a crane or right. something, I might not be so uh, cavalier about it. You know? Yeah, if you're a crane operator, you got to smoke. Yeah, or like driving a school bus or some shit. Oh, come on! <laughs> so many different reasons that people smoke in so many different ways. Our endocannabinoid system accepts it. You know, some people have anxiety. But they couldn't do the jobs they did without the use of cannabis to spend it. So I, I feel you when you're talking about crane operators. Or- That's the magic of CBD, bro. <laughs> hey, Grambo. Then you're a, a musician. Do you only play guitar? Do you drum or anything like that? Or- uh, just stringed instruments, cello uh, and saxophone. So do you find <clears throat> better or worse performance when you're playing guitar? Oh, so, But that's actually a little bit different of a thing, but so, so much better. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like once again, I just melt into it, and the time slows down. It's the time dilation. Same thing with producing this show. It time slows down. I get into a flow state. I roll. Really, yeah, it opens some receptors, man. Some of the best saw or versions or ways or that you felt about music is hearing it on some really good speakers, loud, like high, like yeah. pretty high, <laughs> like turn yeah, that shit up. <laughs> absolutely, it sounds really good right now, and it. Can, it enhances the musical listening experience. I think uh, most people are on board that the the music of like the 70s and 80s and 90s was Freedom the best music. And that was when we were the most free with experimenting with 
chemicals and weird things. There wasn't <laughs> antidepressants and all yeah. this crazy stuff. So uh, yeah, do weed and create. You have to get rid of this the same, the same about turning up the freedom rock or something. <laughs> Hell yeah, is that freedom is rock? That freedom rock? Well, turn it up. I like Fraggle Rock. Yeah. Doesn't it seem like Look there's? Up. I don't know where it comes from, but there is definitely this idea that's prevalent uh -huh. where like you're not supposed to like alter your mind. Yeah. And that's why, quote unquote, drugs are bad. I don't know if it has religious origins because does. because you're going to it's going to be like a false God or something like that. No, you just got to show up to church Sunday and that happens in the morning, man. You can't be when, Saturday night. But I, I think. Went. But sorry, as like okay. a human or in like in animal kingdom, there, like there are multiple creatures that like, oh, yeah, to, get like to get high. Yeah. So like from a, you know, more of a human kind of perspective, it sure doesn't seem wrong to me. It seems something kind of natural. Right. And obviously it's inappropriate at certain, at, you know, certain places and times. Sure. But just the whole idea and those things have been happening for literally thousands of years and not even just humans, but extending out into other. Yeah. You know. And so, life has changed. So there's no reason to think like, oh, it's wrong because you're altering the way your mind works somehow. Yeah. Rant, rant off. Sorry. No, I agree. I'm just trying to get people to do something. You know what I mean? So high, not high. Just get out of your house. I just debate if I, I went to church most, most of the time when I was in high school. Um, the Episcopalian, some form of Christianity, I believe, but didn't really. It, it was just within the family. Like my grandpa was even a minister and this and that. But I'm wondering... If I was allowed to consume cannabis that whole time, would it would have it made it more interesting and soaked in, or would have it made me tune out even quicker? Cannabis and religion, I think, can go together. It has historically <laughs> a lot of ceremonial <laughs> things, thousands of years old. Yeah, you know, people definitely use cannabis in a lot of religious ceremonies, a lot of different religions. I grew up I not mean. religious, and my wife was, and so she we'd go to temple every year for the high holidays. <laughs> I would sit there on like 500 milligrams of edibles and I'm like, are you hearing what this guy's saying? He's just dropping it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Weed and, wow. weed and religion. Come on. You got to be high it. to believe this stuff. It's the high holidays. You don't see any. any that's that's good. pretty good. The high holidays. I like the high yeah, priest. Right. You've heard of that, right? Yeah, I like it. You can ask banners grabbing my attention there. Is that a never summer hoodie? Yeah. It is all right. All right. Shout out. Sorry. Shout out. He was he was on the mountain yesterday. You know, what's that? Hey, I said hey. Banner was on the mountain yesterday. I was very cool. Yeah. Never summer doesn't. Maybe they make skis. Anyway, <laughs> Colorado snowboarding company. I toured their factory. I own three of their boards and uh, just trying to sound cool. Anyway, this this that but, never uh, summer for what it's worth. Yes, I'm not a snowboarder. This <laughs> is was, was actually a freebie. But uh, all right. But Old I dig poser. it. Ah. Poser. Banner's a poser. <laughs> This was a freebie. Hey, Chad Westport. Shout out to Chad West. If you really want to know, it's a really nice sweatshirt. Like it's it's <laughs> it cuts the wind, but it's not hot, and uh, it's just a very functional piece. Oh, and that's that's the right. most Banner important loves thing. Cutting wind. <laughs> I got some hey. shout outs, man. You just yes. see producers. Can we do that, Scotty? Yes. Yeah. Hey, we're coming up on twenty three, not twenty three years. April twenty third, <laughs> ten years of this show. I'm gonna be back in the bakery. We're gonna do some special stuff, and none of it will be possible. You wouldn't be having a good time this Saturday or seeing or hearing any of us without these DGC producers, guys. I'm gonna show yes. you. <laughs> happen, 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 crutch. What's going on? And two can grow and why? Yeah, man. <laughs> these guys are awesome. Guys are oh, awesome. Yeah. So, uh, two can. Thank you for the coasters. Too, yes, guys. husband and oh, wife. Not guys. Sorry. Shout out to Sicko Grows. I believe Sicko Grows is in Boulder County. He's a he's somewhat of a local, and he will be at the cup. All right. right. What a good Jay. to me. And uh, if you check out his Instagram feed, he, he grows some really really nice looking weed. He does. Hey, dude. Can I tell you something really quick? What's up? Two trees smells like Chong. Dirt boy. <laughs> Thank you very much. D D DGC haiku. That works. Thank you very much. I'm going with Chirpy Boy. Chirp Boy. I like it. Doomgrows.com forward slash support, man. I can I can't hit it all, but you're gonna get hot deals on DGC merch, tickets to the DGC Cup, DGCCup.com. Uh June first, <laughs> come on out. 20% off real growers product. No, 30%. Excuse me. Dots recharge, real bucket systems, free scene, sticker packs. Uh, and great content, banners throwing up good questions over their polls and surveys, which seems you guys have been digging on, getting a lot of comments on it in the Friday 420 happy hour every Friday. So dudegrows.com forward slash support. But with your dollars, support the content. Thank you, DDC Produce.
Yeah. 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 Dig it. It's a complex reaction I have. I'll be like, 30% off. What the hell happened here? I'll read the invoice. I'm like, ah, it's DGC. Uh, cool. All right. It's all good, man. I get. He, he's not even joking. I'll get a phone call. Hey, how come somebody got 30% <laughs> off here, man? Like it's uh, all good. It's all good. They're, they're, a, pa- they're a patron, bro. About that, you know? <laughs> it's good patron, bro. It's all good. All right. Okay. So I good you want a, a, a funny one, a DDC producer. And damn it, I'm not recalling your name right now. He's like, hey, uh, by the way, oh, it was uh, Dankweed Tea. Shout out DankweedTees.com. Coupon du- code dude. They um, I was going to wear a tea today, but it's Saturday morning and I got to wear the rope. Anyway, he's like, did you know your, your coupon your coupon code uh, that you have for the DDC giving you $20 off of a hat, not 20%? <laughs> I was like, oh, that's okay. Cool. Don't, that is cool. Don't, don't a mistake. Oh, Support our crew, man. man. Anyway, that's a guy in our crew that's making teas and has some funny ones. That's where my more cow mag one comes from. So support him. Yes, you got it. Uh, bring it. All prohibition on pork. Where are we at, Scotty? Uh, this is Canem- kind of demented. Is This says Canamom's parenting with cannabis. Mm. And what's demented yeah. is Grambo just looks at this and he goes, that's my new wife. Well, look at I me. Mean, look at that face <laughs> she is. She's so pretty and calm and high. I like her. I thought the one from last show. Danielle, I'm fun. available. Hit me uh, up. Uh, She's a can of mom. Does it say kind of single mom there? Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have a ring on her finger? Now that girl smokes weed. Oh, uh, right. I think she does, Banner. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> an increasing number of mothers are using cannabis to help them parent. As they come out of the green closet, they're hoping to shift the stigma. <laughs> the green closet. So I can only, like, uh, parenting is tough. And going and taking an attitude adjustment yeah, smoking a little bit in the garage. You're going to take a hit outside. Then shout out to the vape pens. Uh, that is key, man. Idiot. <laughs> I've gotten in trouble because I've just played with like, uh, I've gone over my uh, cousin's house and I just played with the three-year-olds for like two hours. So, oh, dude. That's and they're like I, looking at me like, <laughs> I do say, you know, what's yeah. going on with this Listen, guy? That, uh, <laughs> cannabis helps me in certain transitional moments. This is like when I was talking about like the chair. She says, I can more easily set aside my workday to-do list along with whatever challenges and frustrations I've experienced that day and get into the kind of headspace where I can patiently help with homework or make dinner with my daughter. So probably she comes home, she's like, hold on, I got to go into the green closet for a minute. That's when she calls it. <laughs> right <laughs> back. She's coming out of the green closet. Look at this title. Mommy needs a microdose. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, is there a .com available of that? <laughs> No available at the <laughs> other. What what happens if you go to your doctor and you say you need help coming out of your heavy to do do list to be a, a good mom to help with homework? What, what's there are some scrubs you potentially you know? So this is awesome because there's plenty of other of addictive. What is it? Just like different that that you know, that means even. Oh yeah, they've got Adderall and all that stuff. And oh, yeah, yeah, those yeah those are ADD medicines, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's one hundred percent. Yeah, an amphetamine. I'm definitely playing with Legos. All right, I don't have attention deficit. There's two chemicals in Adderall. One's called amphetamine, and it's <laughs> called dextroamphetamine. Yeah, I noticed that there's amphetamine yeah, in the yeah. chemical compound. No, my buddy's a, a chemist and <laughs> takes it. He was explaining it to me, and I was just like, "Sounds gnarly." And in answer to your question, it depends which doctor you go to. Because if you go to the doctor know, that yeah. writes cannabis uh, uh, subscriptions. I'm just messing with you. Prescriptions. Subscription. And then you're, uh, uh, you know, then it's a different story. And there are more and more of those. Yeah. I feel you. I like it. That's a good feeling article. We want to see more cannabis use, especially helping with parenting. Now, what about Dare? Bear's hey, Graham Mayfield were in <laughs> Ah, shoot. Yeah, man. Dare is, uh, I think it's a privately, com- a privately funded company because they were talking about how they uh, used to get, I think it was $10, $12 million from the... Uh, from the government every year. Mm-hmm. And it's literally like down to like two and a half million bucks or something like that. But they um, uh, are trying to change their messaging, man. But yeah, it says that just say no messaging turned dare into a policy pariah. Mm-hmm. It's true, man. It was like the poster child for uh, programs that didn't work. That's you what you get for being disingenuous. Anthony yeah. Friedman, the yeah. former director of Marijuana coordination for the state of Colorado says the Dare brand is toxic. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, I agree. It, even it's, it's, and it should be. Even in school, we used to always joke that it stood stood for drugs are really exciting. <laughs> that was like what we said as like twelve year olds. I could swear oh. some instead of. I could swear there was a Sorry. tour shirt around where it had dare, and then it said like to yeah. do drugs. Yeah, yeah. Under- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marilyn man, like this, maybe. Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sir. Dare began to reinvent itself about 10 years ago. Dare America aligned with Penn State and adopted an evidence based new campaign, Dare Keep America. It Real. Dare America. Air America was like the cocaine transport uh, <laughs> CIA. Was it? Yeah, it was like the CIA's cocaine transport is where they funded themselves oh through Air America. They just put a D. There's on. a movie about that. Is there? Yeah. I'm sure it's called Air America. I think it's called Air America. <laughs> I would say the it. name of the. <laughs> Keeping it, the Keeping It Real campaign, keep in mind with that campaign, Ooh. real is an acronym. Refuse, explain, avoid, leave. Wow. <laughs> wow. Man, they have huge problems with, I mean, I don't want to get too real, but dude, that fentanyl is insane. And it's just a little tiny pill and it makes people, I guess heroin makes people happy. Dude, that's the scariest one. That's where I would be really allocating all my resources to. Hurricane make, uh, heroin makes people happy in the beginning. <laughs> in the beginning. It seems like in this article, like I'm just scrolling, that the only thing that they're mentioning as you speak of that type of problem with fentanyl is marijuana. That's all they mentioned. Right? And you need to mention in this. Yeah, article. it's just, like, wow. And it's like, you, you're just so out of touch. And then that's why it's like just not reputable. Yeah, You're just agreed. completely out of touch with what people are doing these days. Hang on. These I mean, guys are real one. Save money while spraying your grow, guys. A little squirt, squirt. <laughs> Hook it up. My favorite product. Optic Foliar Transport. When you're spraying, whether you're doing something for IPM, maybe you're foliar feeding, you got to deal with some mold and mildews, Optic Foliar Transport gets it into the mesic field there, spray with the lights on more efficiently. You're going to be able to use your products at lower than label rates, sometimes as much as quarter strength. That's where you're going to be saving the money while doing the spraying, making your plants happy. Check out opticfoliar.ca. Yell at your local hydro store. Tell them to hook it up for you. And shout out one of the biggest OG supporters, Dinesh, over at Optic Foliar. Other products as well, ready to use, overgrow. Plenty of foliar nutrition over there. ATAC for molds and mildews. Go take a look. Opticfoliar.ca. I'm out. Message should be like, yeah, immediately start talking about, for me, it'd be like just bringing it back uh, to talking to our kids about drugs. Don't take any effing pills. Any sort. From anybody. Like, yeah, at this day and age, like, you know, anything like that, pills and powders, like, stay, you don't know what's going on, you know, what's in there, you know? So step one, and there's no mention of any of that in, in Dare's campaign. Oh, that's crazy. No. They ruined random. I've been dug yeah, The man. fake pill presses are like the biggest thing on earth. Like you can buy the molds on the internet and they have all the accurate like numbering and everything. I was talking to this girl at a show. I was doing the bartender and she's, she's a hip young chick. Right. And she's like, oh, everyone has drug testing kits now. You can't yeah. trust what you read on them. Oh, well, yeah. You, was it Banner at a show and like they put covers on your cups now or something? So you don't yeah. feed or what? Yeah. What so you don't have the anti Rufi. Yeah, they put a cup or a lid on your cup. Oh, that's great. That was at uh, Cervantes. Wow. What? Who's roofing people anymore? I'd probably Somebody in Denver. <laughs> Just for the, you know, for the novelty. Sounds great. Uh, what were you doing last night? They were doing I so the can, monkey. Can, can I just, my world. Can I add one more comment on this dare thing? Yeah. So the thing that makes me sad about this is that I feel like it's a missed opportunity. You have people who are motivated and they're, I really believe they're genuinely want to do good and genuinely sure. think that they're helping people. And the problem really at the end of the day is that they don't want to consider reality. They want to see things only their way. And that's why it fails. And if they would take some time to really understand what's going on, they could find ways to be helpful. Right. And everybody would win. What's the most uh, successful alcoholics program? AA. A- it's got to be right. Yes. Alcoholics Anonymous, because it's other alcoholics that have managed to clean themselves up and know what the other people are going through, or at least can identify with what they're going through. And that's key. This guy says, this guy says, I'm a realist. We do know medical properties in marijuana and kids will likely be exposed to its use, says Kennedy Sabelko, a prevention specialist with Denver Public Schools. We need to meet the kids where they're at. 
Yeah. Just telling kids that they cannot do it isn't going to work. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That is how the world works, especially since the advent of the internet. There's, it's too easy to get information and to learn about something yep. instead of being just told one thing and then you're all in. I don't know if that guy's the right messenger. Might be somebody like me, you or dude to go there Maybe. and say, hey, keep your stuff together. But but that's it in a nutshell, though, is that, yeah, you got to figure out how to work with people. You can't just like take your, your viewpoint and just ram it down people's throats. That's The world doesn't work like that anymore. Agreed. I'm going to be the dude. That's my next job. I'm going to go around and, and teach kids. I'm going to get hired by D.A.R.E. But then in a weird roundabout story, I got busted for slinging bags. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that somewhere. Anymore. Grandma, didn't you go talk to your kid's school? God, yeah, I actually did. Uh, yeah, they're only four, so it's not even close to that time. I talked at my kid's school, too, and uh, I was hoping to let them know that the message is you don't have to go to an office. I used to think I'd right. kind of have to go to an office and wear a suit, and I tried to actually work where I remember they were like, yeah, we started at 730. <laughs> yeah i mean that's life changing right there yeah that's another scott thing last week i was like yeah i have to go to the gym i have to wake up at like nine he's like oof yeah. <laughs> it's like i that's crazy uh, <laughs> yeah but you don't relevant you don't you can just be creative you can yeah, you can do whatever you want in this world and i think that's a cool message and if smoking weed helps you do it better or helps you enjoy it more more power to you brother you tell them just to do weed light or diet weed, also known as Delta 8. Uh, hey, that's what I'm saying, it. man. They sell that. That is completely unregulated, right? They sell that at the head shops next to Kratom. Yeah. Yeah. So this that's next shit. story, I, I had searched marijuana news yesterday and on a whatever clean browser window. And like all of a sudden I was just hit hard with like 12 different stories about Delta 8. I'm like, what are they doing? So this is out of CNN. A significant number of U.S. 12th graders report using Delta 8 products. Study says and it may be a public health concern. So it made me feel like who's behind all these stories and why are they trying to go after Delta 8? Is there some type of theory? It doesn't have to be curious. Were you telling me about the center pivot weed or was it high C? Somebody was telling me he hung out with somebody. And they were just like, yeah, we do center pivot weed, 660 acres of C- of uh, hemp. And then they turn it into CBD and then they isomerize it into Delta 8. You know, so I mean, it's or whatever it is. I think they turn it into an acetate or something like that. But that's uh, uh, a problem. It's filthy weed that they're starting with. What does it do, though? What What is the difference in an eyeball buzz? I mean, you're missing something because it's only Delta 8. Is like, it or are they? What, I, what are the I don't quite understand what the effects are. I, I, you know, has anybody ever tried it? I think it's exactly just weed, right? I think it is. I just think, like distill it because they're changing it there. I remember I had but, a can, shout out to Cannabis Alchemy, but they show you how to do it. But you're getting high in the same way if you smoke it. Yeah. Like, I, uh, I think what I it is, is that there's, it's, web, it's, web, it's, there's Delta. There's web MD. Th- yeah, dude. Thank you. I was just going to say WebMD calls it, which is funny, weed light or diet weed. Like, I literally pulled that from oh, their wow. site and it's good on this. <clears throat> it's, not, it's not supposed to get you nearly as high as THC. All right, yes. Ambo, is that what you're going? Well, what no, if, the, the, the way that it works is like, so when you get a bud, it's got THC, and it's got THCA, right? So when you hit it with uh, with heat it all becomes thc available so they're just taking special care to make sure that there's no activated thc in it it's all thca which then- that came from that came from cbd because yes. you can make thc acetate yes. from cbd with a whole big chemical bunch of chemicals. Process. i have a question what is the relationship between thca and delta eight is it the same you, thing? Yeah, Delta Eight is a wink, wink. We made uh, technically very similar to CB or uh, to THCA. Yeah, or we ended up somehow coming up with it, but it came from hemp, and it was through this chemical process, as my understanding. Yeah. Sir, the secret ingredient. But <laughs> if it's just hemp, then when we smoke hemp, we don't get high. No, there. It's a huge chemical process that they're doing. To turn. Oh, yes, to so turn this the is, amp, the, you, there is some more chemical manipulation oh, yes. to this. Okay, Tremendous that's where I'm amount. confused. Tremendous amount. And yeah, Delta 8. They, so it is processed in order to get it very to much, Delta 8. And that's probably what it doesn't, why it doesn't get you very high, why it's weed light, because it's distillate. So there's little terpenes for an entourage effect. So this is totally different from the THCA loophole, which is where you can yes. Yes. sell totally real different. weed, but- yeah. Because it's not yet been decarb, right? No, even THC 
A, uh, as soon as you, that's what curing is. And slow drying is allowing that THC A to become THC. Okay. Yeah. So just don't dry it or cure it. I don't know. That's a, such a shady loophole, man. That's not a loophole. You're getting arrested for that. It lets you, it it lets you buy flour by mail in the U.S. <laughs> for now, until they decide you can't. <laughs> and then there's legal, well, and then there's legal. Well, it's a loophole. <laughs> right. So this is a quick title was like Delta 8 THC craze concerns chemists, un- unidentifiable byproducts, and lack of regulatory oversight. So I agree with, I don't like vaping stuff when you're not exactly, like, what's the carrier? Like as far as, you know, that's this fine mist going into my lungs and shiz over and over and over again. And uh, it's um, Yeah, it's unregulated by anybody. And as much as uh, I don't want the government in all my stuff, I sure don't want just anybody being able to mix bizarro juice with some pure nicotine, no. and bringing it to where they sell the kratom and being like, hey, yeah, I'm saying so, you, you've seen that before. You know, I got a hundred of these carts, man. It's a dude in his garage. And I think back to when I was a kid. Oh, I would have smoked that sight unseen. You're just so stupid as a teenager. Yeah, you want to get another? I would have I would have smoked so, all the gas station turps. <laughs> if you catch your 12th grader, because this was a survey of 12th graders with the Delta 8, just be like, why are you being a poser, man? Get some Delta 9. <laughs> That's good parenting, though. Don't smoke that. Crap. <laughs> that chemical crap. You're selling yourself. So yeah, get there's that a piece, bucket of weed over there. Get that pea stick out of here. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me shout out here to, uh, I did mention earlier, we're getting closer to the DGC Cup June yeah. 1st. Um, we are sold out of competitor spots, I believe. Might be a couple left. Um, but we are definitely going to sell this event. We're more than halfway there. Over 70 strains of cannabis to try. Everybody that comes is a judge. You get a 1E, a lighter, a nice glass, DGC 1E, and get to go on through. If you can, if you tear, try 70. I don't know if it's possible. I think it's a four-hour tasting that we have, maybe five. Um, and you also hang out, meet tons of breeders, vendors, people in the industry, DGC sponsors. Uh, check it all out, ddccup.com. And also, check out our pros, Dude Bros dot com forward slash pros is a great way to upgrade your grow to get dgc vetted gear from quality companies with great customer support i say that because i talked to all these people we've met these people through recommendation of dgc slept over so you grow you What's slept that? over you slept over some of their houses you know that's <laughs> a sleepover with boston to plant therapy don't make it sound weird scotty um but on uh dudegrows.com forward slash pros all the coupon codes are listed there I can't All I said is you slept over, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else you got, Scotty? Uh, I don't know what else, what else we got. So, hey, all right. This one banner sent me, man. It says they're all high. Louisiana police say that rats eating marijuana in the evidence room. <laughs> yeah, they're the rats are eating the weed <laughs> in the evidence room, along with other things. That's a good way to just dispose of it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty interesting, right? I don't know. I thought, oh man, that's funny. Sounds tough. In the this is in New Orleans. Excuse me, sorry, New Orleans. New Orleans. It says along with the rats, which she said leave feces all over the desk. There's an infestation of cockroaches as well as countless maintenance problems, including broken elevators, non-functioning plumbing, air conditioning. <laughs> uh, so I damn. It's not like a rough this, police headquarters. How is Can this weed's you- fault? <laughs> Can you blame the rodents? Yeah, right. I mean, look at look at the environment. It'd be in. awesome if this was about legalizing weed to get more revenue to fund the police a little more, man, to get them a new place. It's almost as if that would work, right? right. Well, it would well be- if you're a Jeez. The rats are getting high. You don't have to. They they're just like a dog. They don't have to uh, burn it. They can just eat it, right? The way their system works, I believe. Yes, yeah, this rat does look wow. eat anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? it does. The middle one looks it's cute. Way wasted. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> no one on the left of Narg. Get out of here. Yeah, sober rat. Yeah, I keep straight when I go grab the weed from the cops. All right, man. <laughs> yeah, smoke he, it later. They're telling him to go. Go, man. Go. <laughs> go get it. They're gone. Uh, there's some things I don't do high. Stealing weed from the cops is one of them, right? <laughs> uh, even if you're a rat. <laughs> uh, it was kind of interesting how the article is all about the the weed part, though. And then, yeah. like, the rest of it is just total shit show. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a pitch <laughs> to get more funding for the police because they're... <laughs> hey, by the way, you, this reminds me uh, when I read this of just living in the South. There are so many things that live with you in the South, like or your rodents, roaches, um, roaches just I mean, lizards, fire yeah, lizards. The lizards snakes, are cool. Snakes, snakes. Yes. Yeah. The reality of too getting, many. 
Rob Brown or Closes. Oh, the Wars. Oh yeah, nasty spiders. And by the way, if you guys just tuned in, Banner's not a snowboarder. All right, on to the comments. <laughs> ah, boy, that bothers dude, doesn't it? Oh, he's offended. <laughs> yes. Just catching, just catching the DGC up on past events. <laughs> Take it. What do you got, Scotty? You pick these. Uh, hey, great panel. Monday was an excellent panel. I enjoyed hanging out with Brad and Jeff. And uh, yeah, great time, man. Uh, Ross to Jeff might have a new strain name. All right. Neck meat. Neck meat. Joseph Moore <clears throat> says that's freaking awesome. A new strain name. Neck meat. He was talking about that. We were talking about what? I think it was shaping plants and trimming them, uh, getting them to have uh, an even canopy as opposed to one central bud. He goes, yeah, you wanted to get more neck meat, you know? <laughs> that's so what good. Is neck meat when you get older or fatter even under here? Like you just got like the double pin? I don't know. Yeah. Is that neck meat? Just maybe think of a big fat butt, man. Big fat butt. Uh, mm, got some okay. neck meat. Or too. like when the, you can see a bouncer and they have the hot dogs <laughs> on the back of their neck. You know, they have like all the oh, yeah, hot that's dog wrinkles. neck meat, man. Yeah, that's some neck meat. It just slaps. I'll, I'll take the next, hot dog. the next one. We've been trying to drop some light science, lighting science. We hung out with a mitt from HLG, and he reached out to uh, Bruce Bugby. We're trying to get some coordination with Shane also from Migro and drop some science. And so War War Warrior says Shane and Bruce are the gold standard when it comes to unbiased science, back with information about lighting. I agree. I, Shane's in Ireland, so a four twenty panel. I think is ten thirty at night his time. But we should make this happen. We should have a panel and drop knowledge. That would be very cool. I was listening to them talk about far red, and I was like, dude, I think I understand far red. And then uh, Bugby goes, and now the far red, deep red ratio really uh, has an uh, uh, effect on plant morphology. And I'm like, oh, dude. I thought I understood. Yeah, above 680 and below, man. It matters, all right? Fascinating. Far red and the Emerson effect, dude. Kind of interesting. Well, I'm going to ask him about it, man. I'll pretend I know what I'm talking about. Yes, give him some give him some nudges on IG or whatever you do on the social media internets. Yes, nudge away. <laughs> yeah, this is a <clears throat> Emerson effect. The increase in rate of photosynthesis after chloroplasts are exposed to light wavelengths of 680 nanometers, which is the deep red spectrum, and more than six uh, and more than 680 nanometers of far red spectrum. Hmm. I don't understand. It's the same thing. Uh, anyway, deep red and far red. Yeah, that's what it has to do with. And sure, let's ask them about that. That means that the uh, the photosynthesis speeds up. It has more photosynthesis because it's uh, tricking it with this light. Yep, I feel you. We got one more comment here. <laughs> right, we'll time, Scotty. <laughs> what about uh, yes. L? Oh yeah, All right. <laughs> yeah, this is rough, man. It says, uh, this is just a uh, user so-and-so, I don't know, ZB5. You should try, we were talking about the smell and getting in trouble for the smell. You should try to grow here. It's legal to buy and smoke, but Lord help you if you grow outdoors and it smells. Code enforcement comes and steals everything. While leaving those at home, fines of $1,000 for each plant. That is so lame, man. I got to thank my guy. I think about sending my uh, uh, my inspector, a code enforcement guy, like a Christmas card or something, because he's pretty cool, man. Yeah. That's how it works, man. Is that how it works? Hopefully. I, uh, got a little Dick Sporting just Goods uh, card. Real Goods of Grease. <sighs> my neighbor was just over earlier today. We're looking out in the yard about getting this ramp set up for my son. But regardless, he's like, dude, and he's told me before, he's like, it's getting pretty smelly out here. He's like, uh, <laughs> the neighbor... Across the way over there, which is like two houses down from yeah. is asking me about what's going on with the groves lately. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you know, well, I'm not doing anything illegal here, but because right now it's harvest time and I only have a smelly issue for about the last three weeks of flower. And the other neighbor asked, so it's like, hmm, probably you get a carbon filter. Uh, what's up? Yes. You don't have a carbon filter in your grove or anywhere gonna- near your grove? I'm not in my, dude the space in my grow is like so valuable i don't want to do it if i don't have to um, i don't have a carbon filter I could, in my grow do i <laughs> yeah sorry man you definitely don't i didn't mean to be indignant there 
<laughs> Specifically when I was walking from you, my car. You have a lot of competing smells behind, though. Oh, come on. you got to admit, five feet out front of there, it smells like weed. <laughs> it does. It's not stinking up the whole I'll buy where the cars are. I got out of my car and smell, I smell the little twist. Smell it. No, uh, uh, just, a, just a pinch, but it was there. Hey, remind me to send Chad. Gardner's the smoking now. Uh, that was just me opening a jar, bro. I think ah. it's that freaking, it's that emergency, man. It, it just, it, it's got legs. Yeah. By the way, I'm nobody's been upset like... though. They're just asking about it, so I think it's about to be done. So it's like, man, and I can't put a carbon filter just in my garage to scrub because <laughs> the humidity in there is through the roof, man. It, it'll kill the filter pretty quick. We're at like eighty percent humidity or some shit. So wow. regardless, yeah, uh, do watch your smells. Yeah, <laughs> speak in, in where Florida. I, mean, I, was, I see where you're going here. Dude, the guy, uh, Ron DeSantis in Florida, just, I don't know much about him, but the stuff I see, I don't really like. I don't pay any attention yeah. to politics, man, but. Yes, sir. Was he running for president? No, no. Or, like, yeah. dude, somebody, I, <laughs> I went to the bathroom a couple of days ago, had a barbecue. I came back and the people were talking about politics and I just go, no. No, I mean it was around people I didn't even know, and I was just like, "Stop!" Now that's my kind of just, yeah, yeah, just yes, just right? No to <laughs> DeSantis, and by the way, that's just me. Somebody's got to pay attention to it. Uh, it's just not going to be me. DeSantis warns marijuana smell could impact Florida businesses amid recreational use proposal, and they're proposing recreational use. Florida could use some recreational cannabis. I mean, that's where people go to chill, party. There's a lot of hardworking folks down there. They, there's a lot of stress. They could use cannabis. Yeah, but if you're living on the golf course and you're retired, you want to smell that. Ah, that's what uh, DeSantis talks about, man. Yeah. He's worried about residents maybe have to endure the smell if we get recreational. I, I mean, it's stuff. not like there's no other bad <laughs> smells in Florida. <laughs> The swamp, baby, the canal. Do you remember, Banner? That was one of the things that uh, a lot of Denver people really pushed for because we have the Purina plant downtown mm -hmm. in Denver. So at night, it reeks of rendered pig fat. Oh, it's gross. And so they're like, dude, you can't say the smell, the smell, the Commerce City smells horrible. Yeah. And that's where all of our grows are. Hey, you been to Greeley? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Greeley. I was, hey, by the way, the guys that smell, that uh, you know, complained about my cannabis smell, stink the whole neighborhood up with donkey shit. Yeah, exactly. Well, do you, you have to do for the go ahead, Banner? No, I was going to say Gre Greeley's a half hour away. Bro. That's the meat processing. What are they burning blood night? Is every other I don't Tuesday? know what it is, but there's <laughs> and then it's just a common thing that when you get a really strong whiff of it, uh, chances are that there's a, a storm coming in. Yeah. And in Boulder, if it smells like that, it's like means it's going to snow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. That's weird. Like that's how that's how the weather works. They, but that's they far away. Business owners. Business owners and residents down there in Fort Myers yeah. and wherever were like, whatever, man, it's not an issue. We're not having any issues. We already smell it. And why not just go take Governor DeSantis to a nice trip to Colorado, have a night out in the town in Denver and Boulder where it's been legal for a long damn time and see if anybody's having a smell issue. He did. It, it did. I've gone to some of these cities with this everywhere and it smells and it smells <laughs> there's all these other things why isn't this so why isn't the solution some sort of like air like scrubbing uh requirement and the reason is because you're going to piss off the other industries that are also doing the same uh, fucking, also, yeah but their smells are different that because other wouldn't what that is, solve the problem uh, but you just can't do it selectively to just cannabis growers more things to argue about Sure. Just listen to this quickly. Uh, as far as how a politician speaks, this reminds me of Mayor Quimby. Let's say we're at the meeting and I ask Governor DeSantis, like, so why don't we want a wreck? Like you just said, Scotty. So, so I've gone to some of these other cities with this everywhere and it smells. And there's all these other things. Yeah. yeah. No damn bag. I are in the other things. <laughs> Dude, but... Right underneath, underneath here is Cassandra Jude, a resident of Fort Myers, who recently returned from Las Vegas. Uh, my bamboo nursery is maybe 30 minutes from Fort Myers, maybe 45 minutes. It is not a progressive place. It's either Old South or uh, retirement. So this is not, I wouldn't think of this as a very progressive city. This isn't Fort Lauderdale. Uh, a resident of Fort Myers just recently returned from Las Vegas. She said she could smell it in the streets but it didn't bother her or seem to bother anyone there. 
The streets did smell a little bit like marijuana. It's legal there, but business is booming, Jude said. That sounds, mm. that sounds like uh, interesting. somebody from Fort Myers. As long as business is good. Right, right. <laughs> it's Brett's brother, yeah, too. I'm, I'm going to tell my neighbors to talk to uh, Vietnam vet Ron Simmons of Fuanta Gorda, who was enjoying yeah. a coffee downtown. He said he would not be offended or phased by the smell of marijuana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, bring it. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, like, it means he uh, saw terrible things in Vietnam and nothing will phase him. And then, okay, okay. And then, here's what can change old Ronnie's mind is 65% of voters approve. Some politicians don't care. What right. Yeah, see, want. right there, that should be enough right there. Right. By the way, what a pro-cannabis article this is. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it's similarly, Michael Jones, owner of downtown Fort Myers business, doesn't believe the business would be impact if shoppers get a whiff of marijuana. Uh, yeah, this Philip Dulles thing. <clears throat> He's just dumb. Well, this is good. This is positive press. Philip Bella, a Fort Myers resident, emphasized that the smell is harmless to people, supporting the argument for recreational use. Grandpa, yeah, this is uh. A uh, piece from the lobbyist, right? The pro cannabis lobbyist I mean, in our lobby group. I think it it's is, finally right? going that way. We're just smoking and growing and watching prohibition fall down. Did uh, is it a real person? Is this a real person who wrote this? Philip Ella. Is it? Did they give a name? Uh, oh, Dave Alias. Yeah. That's not a real name. <laughs> That's not uh, a real name. His, his fake name is Alias. Dave yeah. Alias. I don't like that. Elias. Okay. 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 So, we should out to a few more producers here. You guys, I wanted to give it up to Mazura, the weed wizard. I'd like to hang out with a weed wizard. You know, like Aquapodic Steve, he could be a weed wizard for Halloween. Yeah. We've all been at a Renaissance Fest, right? The uh, medieval. I have been to one. I've never been there. Yeah. would like to go to another, though. They're cool. Yeah, that's when you're smoking weed with the wizard. <laughs> Good for people watching. Grambo, good place maybe to find a lady for you, too. I'm in. Uh, Cat <laughs> Cat hangs out and does it, man. I'm in. Warehouse cop. Uh, also, Scotty, you can take this middle one here. What is it? Uh, Nymerian. Nymerian. That's an interesting one. Yes. How about it? And I'll give it up. Minnesota Wildlife. Become DGC. We want you. If you guys have not become a DGC producer yet, you should take a moment to look in the mirror and just evaluate. Well, right now, do it now while well, you have time. Or, I don't know, can I, should, I, should I do a dare? Like, once we get to X amount of producers, I will cut the baddest bullet because it's almost get, it's getting closer <laughs> to summertime. And I'm growing this rock out pretty good. We can see we've got a shake down here. we got to get the... Dude, that's, that's the next comment. I'm to get the back from it. That's the next what? comment. I'll take it, man. Dude, oh, dude there's there's comments about your hair, okay? Dude, and yeah. like, Hold on, dudegrows.com yes. forward slash... Support yes. how you make the show happen. Now take it. I didn't even know the comment was here. What, how is this happening? Okay. Mike Gold Watches said, dude, you should grow your hair out. I am, for the first time in my life, I'm 53, left the desk and necktie behind. Right on, bro. Yeah. All right. So well done. Yeah, man. So well done. Thanks. How long should we go? I want to get a Fabio contract. Oh, some sort of you need, product. Yeah. Yes. You need enough hair so that you can headbang a little. And also when you're flipping over a jump or something, you get a little cool, you know, hair Low sticking rock. out. Yeah. Low rock. I got it. Yep. All right. This next one is Sanders completely messed up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Rose Sif. Uh, I never seen this is supposed to be a compliment, I guess. <laughs> uh, I've never seen these guys before, but when I seen the old dude with the spiky hair, I was like, These some OGs. <laughs> uh, can I not say, wrong? Can I say, I, I, I are you talking about me? <laughs> My hair doesn't spike. I don't know if you're spiky. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. pretty sure it's not it hurts, me, man. <laughs> Truth hurts. All right, I'll. I'll, I'll smoke a good deal. I love how you can like tell yourself. young people just by like, I, I, I was like, these some OGs. These some OGs. I suddenly want a hat. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> that was eyeing up the Radical Bags hat over there. Yeah, right. It's a blast. That's a collector. It's classic, man. dude. Hey, dude. Well, I was hanging out. We were hanging out last night, BSing about, uh, you know, maybe what this show would be about. And, I just asked you, I said, has cannabis jumped the shark? And Grambo, you know what that means, right? Does everybody know what that means? <laughs> That's a, when things have gone too far and they, they're they not cool anymore. Yeah, it just became late, you know? 
And uh, we talk about, you know, everybody's parents smoke weed now. You can buy it at the store. Uh, and it has been, what, about a decade? Uh, Ten years to the, almost exactly. Yeah, since it's been legal. And I don't know, you guys want to help me decide if cannabis jumped to shark? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Bonus to points for AI detection. Uh, deal. Yeah, I think these are real products. Or, or just PR shill. Well, it doesn't matter. The fact that these products exist is really the uh, the surprising part. And we'll start with OG Jerky, man. This is, by the way, the company here. It's yeah. called the Good Shroom Company. What the hell? What it introduces THC-infused beef jerky. The OG Jerky. Yeah. How do they it's do unnecessary. that? Unnecessary. Unnecessary. <laughs> right? So that one... I don't know. You don't... Know, like, I mean primary source of consumption for jerky for me is like up in the mountains somewhere like where you just want some yeah quick, but he, like well and i throw I'll, a little cbd in. i'll say if so i bad. went to the dispensary and i was about to buy myself some edibles and i had the choice between gummies and beef jerky i would buy the beef jerky it's it's better for you i'm worried about dosing man yeah. worried about dosing yeah, maybe. plus if you're driving out of state no one's going to suspect the beef jerky. No one suspects the jerky. Ah, <laughs> wow. I just keep getting shipments of beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I like it. We're going to get 60 like grams it. of beef jerky and 9 milligrams of THC. And for me, it's Nine? like my coffee. There have been THC infused coffees and things out there. Oh, it's I like to there. keep them separate. I like to enjoy yeah, that and then have my puff. I don't need to put them together. More great things. To enjoy. You don't you don't do the cocoa, the coconut oil in the coffee anymore? But with not with no, weed, okay. right? I don't mess your tolerance with, up, man. Putting just a little bit of uh THC every day in your coffee will mess your tolerance up. Yeah. With for coffee or for, or for uh caffeine or for THC. <laughs> uh, for THC. But if people I mean, didn't catch yeah. dudes saying that this is some boof jerky, 60, wait, so 60 it, grams for nine milligrams of THC. That, boof that's jerky. That's, wait, wait, wait. Boof so jerky. I would never buy that. I would never buy that. <laughs> is it not a good thing to have caffeine and weed at, and at the same yeah, time? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's good. Dude, this changes everything. That's like huge. What's like, weed and coffee isn't. Well, it, yeah, it, it's on the list. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I but first off, man. This. Uh, this is for you, man. I'm surprised you're not more excited about this one. This is infused cannabis pizza sauce. <laughs> yeah, I hear Fonzie's motorcycle just rev it up. Man. Yeah. Colorado infused pizza sauce is a little ridiculous, no? Look at that woman, how happy oh. she is to go through the drive thru. <laughs> CBD infused, though. CBD infused. I'm a, I could be a fan of CBD infusing things. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's ridiculous. That pizza better be good anyway. In Denver, we have a pizza company called uh, Stoner's Pizza Joint, and their slogan is legalized marinara. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty good. I always recommend it. It's actually delicious. Uh, uh, hey, I'm the... Oh. Overcharged for it though. Sorry, a lot of people will add CBD to something. All of a sudden, it's like five times as much. I'm sure. Of course, of course. In the next one, yeah, see how it sells. You know, yeah, yeah. The so CBD has jumped the shark. Uh, oh, we're about to uh, jump the shark. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of blood in the water, we have not oh. yet jumped the shark. <laughs> Two on the nose, Rambo. Uh, dude, this is THC tampons, and this is from Hello Again, and. I know. I was always this, told. Wait, wait, wait. Is Lionel Richie involved in this? I was going uh, to say Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> yeah, dude. Have you ever met? I've met a girl that told me that you can soak a tampon in alcohol. And she was right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, man. And like grain alcohol. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah, which is cool. She liked to party. But uh, yeah, it turns out that that's a pretty good way to absorb uh, uh, THC. Ooh. Yeah. It's I'm crazy. Bored, man. As far as I helping my mom to stamp. <laughs> Dude, and discomfort, you know, that that's awesome, especially if it's helping, you know, there's, again, there's pharmaceutical, not unnecessary pharmaceutical, but pills that you'd buy at the drugstore for this. So if you can have another weapon, not weapon, <laughs> make it sound like that, but another thing in your arsenal, uh, such a dude talking about tampons. <laughs> Um, oh, no. then they've yeah, got a whole section for you here. Oh, this doesn't seem like jumping the shark, though. It seems like something that could be really. <laughs> I want to make their advertising, though. Here's the free advertising, hella good. It this, definitely this has and your cramps, period. De- definitely getting PR vibes. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm getting, getting PMS <laughs> vibes. <laughs> uh, we're dudes, we don't know what we're talking about. And there is a bunch of feminine type of uh, 
yeah, marketing going on. So that was the tampons. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg a few years ago. This is actually in 2016, but uh, we're talking about so you know some celebrities that jump into it. And uh, she did go all in with the whole feminine thing with yeah, THC or CBD infused bath salts, which is, you know, not bath not bath salts. Bath, salt, <laughs> bath oh, stuff that you put in, that you put in your bathtub, man. But it's, you know, it's kind of the wrong thing. Yeah, that's a terrible way to absorb CBD or THC. Not nearly yeah. as effective. Well, maybe it's like a icebreaker. Like it gets you, you know. Break you into the world of accepting that you know you're not going to die from some CBD. Wow! Or you're like a trip. I'll, I'll stand behind it uh, to to admit a little personal stuff. I had some internal issues one time. I took a, one of these bath bombs and I soaked in it for an hour, and I did. I felt all all better. So if, if you have up, internal pains, the, if you're lying, I have a question. Bath, but it's not soluble in water. So how does that work? I don't know. It is oil soluble. You're right. It is so not T- it's THC and CBD. Well, are not presumably, the like uh, soap has fat, right? Yes. So presumably, the soap carries it. I guess this is a bath. Yeah, me. I just don't understand how it works. I don't think it's supposed to be super effective. I think there's more placebo effect than anything. Man. Hey, what's this mean? Do you want to dig a hole with a spoon or a shovel? Where's that? Right down a little bit lower. Yeah, what is that? Or as right above you, brother, right there, that next line. Look what it says. Do you want to dig a hole with a spoon or a shovel? My what? Ba- my bill coat says. Cool. I want to think AI. about that. I'm going to think about that for a while. Man. Well, it's talking about what you just said, that the, the soap would throw, soak through the skin much, much slower. Got so it. they're recommending like edibles and stuff. Would you yeah. rather dig a hole with a spoon or a shovel? I'll take the shovel. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I'll, I'll give that the thumbs down. I don't shit. I would give it the uh, thumbs down, but you said it worked for you. You enjoyed uh, it, Grandpa. I, my one anecdotal experience. I had a good experience. I, uh, I'm going to give it a thumbs up as far as uh, making it culturally acceptable. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you there. I'm complex, man. Spoon of the doubles. <laughs> oh shoot! I think that's what I got, man. I like it. I like it. Uh, let's hit one more, though, because we're talking about it already. We already discussed enough of the coffee with the Jane's Brew cannabis infused oh, coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I did find a couple more and they added now 80, 80 milligrams sounds oh, like the right those. target. Dude, 80 milligrams is a legitimate cup of coffee. Yeah. Well, there's the cut, the, the actual thing says the, oh. cu- the Keurig thing says 80, but the box says 40. Oh, it's got 40 and 40, probably 40 of CBD uh, as well. Uh, by the way, you ever get like super strong coffee, like the fourth, you know, like the 800 milligram caffeine cup of coffee, like shock coffee. And they should put that in there and make it like you know, 200 milligrams of uh, THC. That'd be cool. And they have absinthe no. pop coffee. I'm not for trying. I see they have uh, right. uh, some cans. If you scroll down, yeah, called uh, hot box roasters, wake and roast, wake and roast, um, hot box roasters. So it's coffee, cold brew coffee. <laughs> Yeah. Now, well, if, if I'm on, ruined on, on the box, go, man. if I'm on the go, you know, let's say I'm in a situation, whatever it may be, where I don't have time or it's not the place to ignite fire to weed and smoke and whatnot, this might be a good option to start your day quickly um, and avoid that, you know, step. Generally, I like to sit around and enjoy a bowl and my cup of coffee. But if it's like a, a hot box morning, I got to get out the door, I don't have time to smoke, I might just have me awake and roast. Oh, that's from a local company, Oscar Blues. Yeah. That's a sure. Colorado company. No, it actually doesn't say that it's from them, does it? It just it mentions that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Grandpa, the next one, you can drink your coffee, bro. I'm just chewing joy gum. Chewing gum. Dude, they have just chewing gum, man. I mean, they got edibles, you know, gummies. Why not have some uh, just... Chewing gum, man. You, those would have to be low doses because that would. T- I know, right? Horrible. THC infused infused chewing gum. Yeah. So, like, what's a stick worth there? Like ten? It had to be ten. ten. It would taste ah. so poor. No. Yeah. Ten. Ten. Is it like ah. they should make? Can, yeah. I blow, can I blow bubbles? No, wait. I don't know. Sorry. I'll make you Sorry. Happy. Five. Fifty milligrams per package. Ten servings. Wow, that makes me. And sad. then it's a, a five THC. Oh, uh, it's a tiny little, t- like not even a chiclet. That's just. No, flat. there's nothing wrong no, for that. So, well, like the that's that's for the uh, yeah. the mom that came out of the green closet. Is that for <laughs> and then one to yeah. it's out there, five milligram pieces, <laughs> or that's like the kindergarten teacher that's going insane that day. Nobody's gonna <laughs> right. having some five milligram pieces throughout the day, all day. Just take the edge. 
Mrs. Krabappel loves gum. Only <laughs> did <laughs> one shot with it in the Krabappel. <laughs> Man, okay, this is the last one I got, and this one is just for Banner because Banner likes to cook. I like to cook too, but he can make the, uh, you know, the connoisseur stuff. Cannabis candied bacon. Ooh. Mm. All right. Did he, I mean, if you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> right. Put as much or as little as you want on there, man. Just get the THC juice. Wow. Hey, look at the dog. Nice photos. Begging. The dog is begging for bacon. No, puppy, oh. you cannot have any. Mix the brown sugar. Mix the brown sugar, chili powder, powder, cayenne pepper, and decarboxylated oh. cannabis in a bowl. Wow. <laughs> Sounds awesome. awesome. Yum. I'm not, not talking about the bacon. Anymore. So what you do is you, you make that, but with like ghost pepper so that nobody gets like too aggressive on it. Yeah, right. It just hurts. <laughs> there, you need some sort of it limiting factor. It doesn't get me high. It just hurts. Uh, so Mint it up. I like this. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Since we're on it, that's why I've told you guys about OMT wings. Uh, oh, one. <laughs> one, maybe two. Oh, yeah. We had a buddy that used to bring wings to uh, like beach parties up skiing. Yeah. And uh, they, you would call them OMT wings. That's and, a smart way to not have people eat the it, whole stash. Yeah, yeah. It's perfect for like a party because, yeah, yeah exactly. You'd eat one, maybe two. And then you got something to talk to people about, too, if you got yep. nothing to say. Oh, my God. My whole face is burning. <laughs> yeah. Here, the, the, <laughs> great party uh, trick, man. They give the recipe here. So I'll oh, yeah. up on screen if you guys want to pause it and grab the recipe. It's, uh, it's pretty Yeah, nice. just substitute that cayenne for some ghost chili powder or yeah because i, I one of the comments like i get uh, a lot from people asking me for advice is, is how do you dose homemade edibles so having this guide here to kind of give you the way to uh just remember in a gram there's a thousand milligrams so if there's one gram of thc take it from there yes but one gram of weed might be 25 percent thc yeah. on a good day so if no. you pull out an extract <laughs> figure it's probably 70 percent thc so you have one gram it's probably about 700 milligrams there you go roughly not bad, Grandpa. It's Grandpa now. Yeah. That looks like a pretty good <laughs> recipe. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, that's why I showed it to you. Make yeah. some banner. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on, banner. No. I'll get you the, the weed. I was in the whole dude motor. comes. Yeah. We're gonna make burritos and we'll have infused bacon. Oh let's get him so whacked, man. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell him. Breakfast burrito tour. Oh, we can make some infused hot sauce too, and that'll really get him. Yeah. Hey Grandma, hit yeah. this next one if you would. You guys want to just uh, really quickly roll through. I found this article, the good, the bad, and the almost unsmokable of celebrity weed. <laughs> There's Justin Bieber, Mike Tyson, Burner. Uh, no, that's be real. Is it? Yeah. yeah. He's I looking was, a little, say that they gave her a little derpy. I said it was Burr. No, can't. You know what? If you, if, I don't really know what Burner looks like, man. I'm not a cookies <laughs> fan. That's Burr. I'm so sorry. There's me. No, wait. Then who's Burner? <laughs> <laughs> He's the other guy. <laughs> what was that? Go straight up. Or go up a little bit. Is that that's why I thought that was yeah, because yeah, cookies. cookies it says cookies, right? Cookies there. by burner. Yeah. yeah okay. uh, burner and uh be real are, are homies. I actually saw I learned of uh, burner live. I saw I went to see Be Real and uh Burner opened for him. He's a rapper? Yeah, very, very one of my favorite rappers. Excellent. Check out Burner. Love it. Really? Yeah, man. Really, really, really good. Love the style. No, I thought he was a weed guy. Oh, well, he's both. All right, cool. I guess if you're going to just sit around growing weed, you can bust some rhymes out, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look how cool this guy is. Yeah. Is this weed? It'll feel like it's off brand. All right, well, hang on. So, Burner by Cookies, we've got to give that the thumbs up, right? Whether it maybe has jumped the shark at this point or not, the guy did legitimate good work. Yeah, it's a state established. Yeah. 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 Be Real. We like Be Real's insane. Yeah, he's got a, a dispensary in Lakewood. He's one of the most legit businessmen in legal OG, weed man. today. You can't, you can't hate on that. No, nah, again, he's probably not growing crappy weed. Wait, oh. so what did it say? Uh, busy? It says the bottom line. Yeah. Uh, he real is one of the most legit businessmen. Businessmen. I don't care about that. Yeah, it doesn't say, it doesn't say his weed's good. Uh, his dispensary is called uh, Dr. Green Thumb. Yes. Hey, do me a favor. Scroll down if you wouldn't hit that Jamiroquai. No, I'm just hey, kidding. Mickey Hart. Is this, Whoa. Yes, yes. I I did this for you, man. Mickey Hart. Uh, go on up. It's spelled it. wrong. It was that stuff? That stuff. Oh. Mind Your Head by Mickey Hart. That is not how he smells. No, his last right? name is just no E. Yeah, so I thought. All right, what is the bottom line? I got A know. magical pre-roll brand from the legendary Mickey Hart, spelled the right way. 
drummer for the most stoned band of all time, the Grateful uh, the Grateful Dead, <laughs> with two offerings: Mickey Minis, which are pre rolled, and Space Ticket, which is a blunt light pre rolled infused with ice water hash. Oh, wow. This brand is a true OG and is sure to steal you. Uh, I see what you did there. Ah. Uh, see here, they spelled it right down here. Yeah. Banner, bottom line, Mickey Hart. I get it. It's like a play on his name uh, right there. Mind your head by me. Anyway. I doubt you so guys, he's selling pre-rolls. Doubt you guys know who Bella Thorne is. I kind of might have a daughter. So she was part of, she's like a Nickelodeon actress. Kind of. So she's so become cool. a, a make, makeup magnet now. Really? Yeah. Yeah, this is a, but look yeah, how. you can tell. Yeah, look how branded, and, and I actually like kind of did a good job with this. It does look it's very vaginal. It, it is a dope jar. It looks tasteable. I look like I want to taste it. <laughs> it looks like I want to keep the jar. Uh, yeah. It says, while Bella Thorne definitely smokes weed. <laughs> I like how it starts with that. This is a brand that feels more branded in her lightness than something, something she had a ton to do with. So, yeah, she just goes, hey, let's do a weed brand yeah, called, called Forbidden Flowers. It. <laughs> yeah and then i mean who's yeah, seth, this is cool seth rogan's getting og status he's he's been in the game about 20 years now so and i, I like this house plant by seth rogan and they're just ultra expensive weed smoking devices for people that have just have you money what so house plant flower oh is this flower he's selling too i, I guess, thought it was i guess so oh that's what he puts it in what is that thing I know. It looks like a Lego. That is that is weed box that he gives you when you buy an eighth or a quarter. It looks says like right here, it. it's a bit of an enigma. <laughs> wow, man. It says houseplant flower is beautifully branded, totally expensive, and grown by THC Design, a popular Los Angeles cannabis brand. THC Design. Man. Oh, it's so a, LA. It's like a, it's a, like a <laughs> high end club. Yeah. Okay, right on. I have a Mike Tyson. What are we thinking? Hundred percent legit. Yeah, bull owned. I think you it's crap. He has a, a podcast called Hot Boxing. Yeah. He brings on all the most famous stoners, gets them too high, and yes. Talks. And he should be growing weed instead. All right, hot, hot boxing. No, what's he know about growing weed? I mean, I think he's used cannabis <laughs> to control his anger his entire life. Yeah, I agree, but I just don't know if he's gonna. I don't trust him to grow the best weed. Well, I don't think you know. Is that it. is that a true thing? Like he has used cannabis to? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. talked about it very openly. This is awesome. Now, for one of the most confusing brands in the celebrity <laughs> weed world, Tyson yeah, Ranch. Where Mike Tyson lost his holistic holdings in 2016. Holistic holdings. That's not a good name for a weed brand, bro. Ooh. Yeah. Who's holding? Who's holding? Yeah, this is pretty cool. Aside from cannabis and edibles, the brand would include the first cannabis resort of sorts, a 418-acre ranch in the desert that would include a festival venue and the world's longest lazy river, oh, among other see. things. <laughs> so I can see which one was Tyson's idea. They were like, yo, we're going to have a ranch here. We're going to take your money. We're going to invest it. Um, and then Tyson's the like, in the we should do a lazy river, too. Do you want to read this one? <laughs> <laughs> His batshit idea. Read it. Read it, Grandma. <laughs> so I love Mike Tyson, and I hope he realizes this batshit idea. Only as he could. But so far... It's still the coolest yeah. thing Mike like, Tyson. Oh. No, dies. Thank you very much. <laughs> still feel like the coolest thing Mike Tyson ever did was was get behind Punch Out. Oh. oh. When he tattooed his face, it was pretty cool. That was like, I don't give. I don't care. I'm all about the Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Yeah. I love the marketing because the ranch never happened. And whenever like they added that into the marketing campaign, it was all photos and drawings. Nothing ever existed. Mm. Like, yeah. I'm wondering if Tyson's like, when are we doing this thing? The guy's like, it doesn't matter. We can just show drawings and pictures and act like it's going to happen kind of thing. <laughs> That's like when you sell out a real estate development, pre-construction, right. promise A, B, C, D, yada, yada. But I wanted to ask, you guys might know more than me and see all of the news about Tyson. Is, is there an upcoming fight that is just going to be a marketing yeah. boy to make money? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm Logan saying. Logan Paul versus Tyson. God love that he's still keeping himself relevant. Who, but who is he fighting? This uh, influencer. It's one of the giant, giantest YouTubers. It's a YouTuber? Yeah. He's a douche. Uh, they're, they're good people. <laughs> I, I, know, I know about the Pauls through my, my YouTubering. At, at heart, they're just really good, slick businessmen. They're just looking to make that money and get out of Dodge, but they're, they got their hearts in them. See, Rambo, you want to get hired by them. I want them just to show up and punch me. Become a millionaire. Come on. 
<laughs> so don't consider it a real fight. Uh, it's Who not knows? sanctioned or anything. Who it's knows, uh, He's uh, been focused on unboxing a lot in the last few years. Word on the street is he's pretty good. Yeah, I heard he's decent, man. I don't know. But why would he be? Mike, it's Iron right. Mike. Get out of here. Yeah, the kid's been jail working really hard. I think he had some talent. This is Jake. All right. Purdue. Yeah, I can't remember. That's what, it, that's what it is, man. You don't think that Mike Tyson just could still just whip ass? Yeah, uh, he's old, man. Do you know what it feels like oh, to get old? <sighs> yeah, he's older than like, me. Yeah, but still. A lot older than me. I was watching him when I was 15. Oh, God. Yeah. Maybe I'm underestimating his age. That looks like a Viking version of one-eyed cat cannabis. 57. Though. Mike's 57. Oh, yeah, see? That That's old. true. He was like 19. Dude, he was He can lay a whip it on a lot of people. Yep. Yeah. Come on, haven't you seen the famous video yeah. on YouTube where the old man's like sparring with the guy and he just knocks him out? It's like the dude's old like man strength. On. He's old got man moves. Strength. Yeah. It's the old man strength. I don't know. I don't know. Come, I, come on, man. You'll shout out some DGC? Who do you got, man? Who do you got? Of course, I'll shout out DGC. And I land it. stash. What's oh, I going on? I love that. That's a good stash. game to get high, high with and play with the kiddos. Good parenting. Yeah. For sure. Um, take it, Scotty. Asmo. Asmo grows. And I got to take this last one. True DGC Slayer 420. Every time I show up on anybody, it could be Jaren's show, uh, Chad Westport show, Slayer 420 is always there hanging out, rapping. So I appreciate you, brother. Shout out Slayer. Good friend of mine. Dude, good band. Good. Do you, anybody? No, I'm not even looking at you, Banner. Does anybody still listen to Slayer out there? Well, every now and again, put it on it. It is just so. I might have picked up. I might have picked up my guitar two nights ago and played through War Ensemble. Yes, yes. If you have never heard Slayer, just put up put on War Ensemble. Just put any song, and it's interesting, man. Nobody sings like him, or at least not before they didn't. There's copies, but yeah. that was, that's screaming, right? That's not really singing, right? The Tom uh, yell. I would say he yells. Scream <laughs> or sing. He just yell. Oh, it's good Angel stuff. Of death. Yeah. To the kingdom of the dead. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you got? You're leading the show here. All right, man. I'm, it's uh, we're winding things down. Oh, yeah. Is this Bob Ross? Because <laughs> this is my best <laughs> in social media. It is the real. first time art show that me and Cage do every week, and today. We're going to be focusing on our beloved KG yeah, Kyle Gallagher. That's, uh, oh, that's cool, cool, man. He yeah. is cool. Yeah. So he's smoking weed, right? Yeah. yeah. He, I, actually, yeah. Eleanor, Jack doesn't smoke nearly as much as Kyle does, I've heard. Gotcha. Mm. I gotcha. But he's a, he's a, he's a part, he's a, he's a you know, ally. Yeah. All right. So I don't know if that's real or not, but that's real funny anyhow. Oh, yeah, it's real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Or it's haunted it's a bit, of the chrome yeah. dome. Yeah. Before AI did it, he just decided. Yeah. How about this one? Is this real? Now this, I'm saying. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what Slash looks like. Really? Now, it looks good, right? <laughs> yeah. You can see the matte line. Yeah, this is, the, the go photos. scroll up. This is what, madhousemagazine.com. Uh -huh. This is one of my favorite new places to go. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, it did just it, you go to the homepage and scroll it. It's amazing. Uh -huh. I think you just click that. Yeah, just... It's we'll go. Go. Just scroll right there. What do you? Uh, it's it's. I don't even know what's going on there, but yeah, the real Jolene sues Dolly Parton for royalties and defamation. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, great uh, David Gilmore records great gig in the sky with Yoko Ono. Ooh, so <laughs> These are good. Man. Will Smith returns to the Oscars. <laughs> 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 oh, I love this thing, man. I love it. Uh, shout out Madhouse Magazine. Y'all funny. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I think it was the next one from Madhouse. Check that one out. Yeah, that was the... Oh, no, it was one. <laughs> that was the main story. Oh, yeah. Here you go, man. I don't know. This one made me laugh. Grandma had no idea she'd been praying to a foot. <laughs> <David Gilmore. laughs> That's right. That's sure. David Gilmore in the 60s. The a little mama gumma. Anyone ever listen to that? That's good Pink Floyd right there, man. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, we got one more. Oh, yeah. This is just trippy. Just trippy. What is what comes through my feed? It's called the Upside Down Gym. Oh, we have one of these in Denver. What? Somebody just decided they were going to so everybody on this? Yeah, everything is mounted on the ceiling with a camera. Yeah. 
Denver has a place called the Denver Selfie Museum. Yeah, yeah it does this. This might even be the Selfie oh Museum. My God, it is so trippy looking, right? Gravity on, off. <laughs> Yeah, every girl on Tinder has this as their profile. Really? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> wow. That's all. Wow, it's weird, right? It is very cool, though. Man, I just thought it was fun for a Saturday morning. That's what I got, boys. Oh, it just got funner. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Make sure to subscribe. Keep hanging out. We got four shows a week coming at you. And uh, stay higher, DGC. Thanks, Grambo Banner. Have a good weekend and take her easy. Hey, dude, Later, Rambo, dude. Banner, take her easy.